Playing reggae like you've never heard before. This is Vibes Radio. Now, you're probably wondering, what is vitiligo? And I've got a very special guest in studio with me who's going to be talking to us about this. But let me give you, umayo namse as in... Oh, I'm sure in your neighborhood, you've seen people whose skin has white spots. And uh, so basically, June 25th was, re- uh, it's an autoimmune disease uh, that basically causes white uh, spots on the skin. I'm not going to act like I know too much. It's why we've got a guest in studio who's going to be sharing with us. Um, and she's an activist representative of people living with vitiligo. And she's in studio with me today. Karibu sana, Wangoi. Asante. How are you doing? I'm doing great yourself i'm super so first things first Mm -hmm. you are a nominated uh, member of uh, a county assembly yes which 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 period Uh, i was nominated 2013 2017 how did that go uh, it went well because uh, that time I was able to reach out and be able to fight for pe- people like myself. Yeah. People living with illegal. Mm-hmm. We had conversations with the government mm-hmm. where we needed people with illegal to be supported. Mm-hmm. And uh, that time Vitiligo was included in the National Council mm-hmm. for persons living with disability. Mm-hmm. But then it was chartered in the UN, so mm-hmm. we had to be included in the National Council for people living with Vitiligo. Mm-hmm. And also it's not a disease, it's a condition. It's a condition. Yes. That's why we're here to learn. <laughs> you know, ata ata ukiangalia uh, even things like uh, you know how you t- you talk about people living with disabilities. Yeah. But that's not the right. Yeah, that's not the right terminology. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So it's yes. it's it's always important to learn. So remember, guys, it's not a disease; it's a condition. Yes. How okay? You have you're living with the condition. Yes. When did how how does it start? Um, mine, I got it when I was 14 years. Mm-hmm. I was in Pangani Girl, mm-hmm. so my class, my desk mate told me I had chalk on my hair mm-hmm. under my eyelid. Mm-hmm. So we tried to wipe it, it mm-hmm. didn't go. Mm-hmm. I went to the ladies, I tried to wipe it, it, it didn't go away. Mm-hmm. So I went to the nurse in the evening, I told the nurse, I don't know what's happening to me, but I have a white patch under my eyelid. Mm-hmm. So the nurse called my parents the next day. Mm-hmm. We went to hospital and I was told I was living with illegal. Back then in 205, people didn't know what vitiligo is. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, I grew up, I, I think I saw uh, a couple of people, maybe in my neighborhood, yeah. that, you know, you see, okay, oh, your auntie akona, akona white patches. Yeah. But you don't really know. Oh, yeah. And and remember, when, when we were kids, you know, kids are, we are, we are you know, yeah. you're, you're honest. And you're asking, yeah. until li chomeka. Yeah, And true. then, anakwambia, pana si kuchomeka. In fact, she even gets upset at you. Yeah. You know, so, and that's what most Kenyans think. So what exactly happens? How does it start? Um, it's just an autoimmune condition where mm-hmm. your antibodies are very strong. Mm-hmm. So they fight against your melanocytes. Our melanocytes are the cells that produce our skin color. Mm-hmm. Melanin. So, yes, yeah. the melanin. So when, once they fight them, our skin cannot be able to produce the skin color. Mm-hmm. It's something that it's autoimmune. Mm-hmm. You can find our visited families where, like in my family, I'm the only one who has it. Yeah. But I visited families where you'll find a parent has it, mm-hmm. a child has it, mm-hmm. and a child's child has it. Yeah. Or you'll find a family where I have it, no, uh, I have it, my child has it. Uh-huh. A family where the mom has it and no one else has yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's autoimmune. It can get anyone at any age. Mm-hmm. There are people who have visited who got it, like myself, 14, mm-hmm. children, three years, mm-hmm. two years, mm-hmm. people at 90, people get it at 70. Wait, mm-hmm. so you, you mean like someone can just get it at, at, at any, any time? At any time, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, because... I visited people. So it, it just comes. Mm. Even when you're 60, 70, there's the oldest I've ever visited, 94. Mm-hmm. She got it when she's 94. What? Yeah, and now she kept asking me, why is God giving me a condition when I'm this old? You know? Yeah. Like, why right now? That's... And, and you know, it's in the village, you go machinani. Mm. Now, everyone keeps saying, she told me people say she's cursed and she has HIV, you know? Oh, my God. So when I go out there, I try to call... Like, if I come to visit you, yeah. I call a small congregation of the people in the society, especially in Mach- Machinani, yeah. and just tell them this is a condition. Uh-huh. It's not a curse. Uh-huh. It's not HIV. It's not contagious. You yeah. can touch me and I'll get it. Wow. Yeah. And, 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 you know, that's the misconception. And that's the reason why you're here today, because tomorrow is World Vitiligo Day, and we want to learn and understand. Yeah. Because, I mean, Atawe, when you make a when is a Vitiligo? Playing reggae like you've never heard before. This is Vibes Radio. Let's keep it moving. In studio, like I promised you, I've got Wangoi J. And uh, Wangoi was a former um, MCA. Yes. <laughs> You know, we're going to begin to go. What do you mean? Yet it. That one we'll talk about in a different setting. But you also are 
a, a, an ambassador yeah. for for uh, people persons living with vitligo. Yes. Now, MVPs. Uh, for a moment, can you imagine? Ukiendo kwa inje, juu imewaka, sindiyo? Imewaka. Unaskia ime kuchoma. Where the only thing una feel too ni na sweat. Eh, Naskia nime nime kuam dark. But can you imagine? Uende uko inje kwa juu, alafu ati ikuchoma, mpaka get blisters. That's what living with vitligo looks like. What's your experience? You were telling me about uh, getting uh, even your lips. Yes. Uh-huh. Um, what do you mean by that? Well, you t- tell, tell them the story about how you went to play football. Oh, I play football. Mm-hmm. I play for Hummingbird. It's mm-hmm. a team in Nyeri. Mm-hmm. So there's a day I forgot to put on sunscreen. Mm-hmm. So after football, mm-hmm. when I got home now, mm-hmm. it comes later on in the evening, yeah. not immediately. Yeah. So in the evening when you're seated, you start feeling, eh, I'm feeling pain on my forehead. Yeah. My lips, I'm feeling pain. Uh-huh. So the next day when you wake up, you find blisters. Uh-huh. I found blisters on my lips uh-huh. and my forehead. Yeah. And also my leg because I had one socks halfway. Yeah, yeah. So I had blisters on part of my leg. Mm. So I tried using after sun. Mm-hmm. Uh, it helped a little. Mm-hmm. And then I was putting ice cubes. But it's really, really, really painful. Really wow. painful. So which means that, because I always see what when you have to go, at a macho on a funika. Yes. You know, uh, and kofi lazima nini. Yeah. So, so the sun is really just your enemy. Yes, the sun. We can't. We can't. A person with vitiligo cannot work under the sun. The sun. Yeah. Wow. Now, so clearly there needs to be more um, awareness yes. on 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 this condition. How many yeah. people does it affect in in any population? It affects one percent of any country's population. One percent. Yes. So to kengele kafu seven million apa kuna at least. And sick fanya math, but kuna 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 a big number <laughs> yeah, kuna, of Kenyans yeah. living with at least yeah. half at least half a million. I visited a lot. I visited over two thousand five hundred families. Wow! In the period twenty thirteen till now. Yeah. Yes. And 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 uh, so okay, there are people who are listening to us right now. They're saying, okay, I have an auntie. I have a mm. nini. How does how do you protect yourself from the sun? Because you, I mean, you still move around. How do you protect yourself from the sun? Uh, what are your basic needs? The basic needs are it's sunscreen before mm-hmm. sun after sun and a lip balm. Mm-hmm. Those we get free from any government level four mm-hmm. or level five hospital. Mm-hmm. The government gives us for free. Oh wow! Yeah. Uh-huh. So the government is actually doing its part to yes, protect to people protect, living. Actually, it protects people with uh, both vitiligo and uh-huh. albinism. Uh-huh. We have put another same program for receiving sunscreen. Uh-huh. So yes. So w- 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 and it's interesting because that was my question. Mm-hmm. What's the difference between vitiligo and, and albinism? albinism? Albinism you're born with, mm-hmm. vitiligo you're not born with. Uh-huh. Becomes, but can, but the effects of the, the sun same, are, the, are same. the same. The effects of the sun are the same. Uh-huh. Yes. All right. And uh, macho, na, uh, macho. What what happens to the eyes? Uh, you see, like myself, yeah. I can't stay under a lot of light for a long time. Yeah. I'll start itching. Yeah. I'll itch a lot. Like so that. like this studio lights is in a perfect. As in effect, science. Because uh, <laughs> uh, I've worn my specs. Yeah. But when I don't have my specs, they really do affect. Before you had vitiligo, yeah. were your eyes having a problem? No. So th- this it's the condition. It's, it's af- uh, it, vitiligo affects every part of your body. Really? Because I did an endoscopy. Yeah. I have ulcers, so I did an endoscopy, and yeah. the doctor told me my stomach also has vitiligo. My stomach lining. But there's no melanin in the stomach. It's supposed to be clear. It's yellow. Oh my God. <laughs> so it affects pretty much every part of okay. someone's body. Yes. Yes. And if someone, okay, you know, because not everybody probably has the information. Yeah. Maybe like that show, show 94. Yeah. You know, she was thinking it's a, it's a curse. Yes. You know, so yes. I'm sure she's not trying to go to the hospital to figure it out. Mm-hmm. So on the hospital, people are not coming to her to tell her what needs to happen. Yeah. And there's so many people who are probably in that same situation. Yeah. There's free sunscreen, there's free help, but they don't know about it. If they don't get that help, what, what risks are there? If you don't use sunscreen mm-hmm. and you go to the sun, you have a high risk of getting skin cancer. Wow. And that's why the government provides for us um, this skin protective gear. Uh-huh. You, they also give us scraps and long sleeve shirts yeah. at the National Council. Those you don't get from the hospital. Yeah. You get from the National Council for persons with disabilities. Uh-huh. And um, most people with vitiligo are, are actually using um, medication. Some uh-huh. people I know. Uh-huh. For myself, I stopped when I was 21. I told my parents I'm tired because we tried everything. Yeah. We went to India. We tried everything. What is the medication for? To stop the, the, the no, process? No, vitiligo is not curable. It's uh-huh. only manageable. Uh-huh. So you can manage it. Uh-huh. You can take medication and it disappears, mm-hmm. but at at certain point, it will still come back. It's not curable. Mm. It's only manageable. Mm. Yes. And and you know, does it eventually? Do you completely? Like does your myself, melanin like completely disappear? And you've been graduating. I've seen you <laughs> before, yeah. and now I can see you're much much like even your hands. 
I am fully white yeah. at the moment, yeah. apart from this. The patches on the face. Yeah. Yeah. I'm fully, fully white. Bro, like you are a miro, but <laughs> say when you're zungu. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Playing reggae like you've never heard before. This is Vibes Radio. All right, let's keep it moving. Guys, remember, we are on my grind. And tomorrow is World Vitiligo Day. Now, we've got uh, Wangoi Nje. Uh, she is an activist, letting people know. You're an activist, right? I uh, know. I'm just creating awareness about Cre- Vitiligo. Oh, you see activism? <laughs> yeah, yeah, amb- being a Vitiligo ambassador. 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 Yeah. All right. Ambassador for uh, people living with uh, Vitiligo. And you probably know a couple of people, one or two people. It's important to know what it is that they are going through so that you can be able to especially spread the information. Let me ask you a question. Um, when you started getting Vitiligo, how was the experience? Because you were in high school. Um, in, high how, sc- yeah. in high school, it wasn't as tough as... Because it hadn't spread. Mm. But when I left high school, yeah. when I was in university, yeah. so it came to my tips of my fingers yeah. and the uh, tips of my toes. Yeah. And then it came around my eyes and yeah. my nose and my mouth. So yeah. people would really see how when I'm going to campus. Yeah. And it was really hard for me. I remember I had to stop going for day classes uh-huh. and change to evening classes. So Are you that, serious? Yeah, so that people would see stop me. staring. Yes. Yeah. And it was really hard. You know, like, my lowest moment was when I was walking and someone called me a monkey. Are you serious? I'm serious. This is Kenya. <laughs> people don't really have... I don't know if people don't have hearts or it's just the awareness that is not there. I think it's 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 lack of awareness. Yeah, it's lack of awareness because I'm, I'm sure if that person knew this is vitiligo, yeah. they wouldn't have said so. Because then, I was black... Uh, my skin color was apart from here now. Yeah. So oh, I was like yeah, yeah. Like it was a patch or around your face. Yes. Wow. So, yeah, that was... It's so kids who are probably going through this are going through a tough time. Uh, parents have been reaching out mm-hmm. and telling me my child has just gotten vitiligo. Mm-hmm. Uh, the good thing about a child who gets vitiligo, it doesn't spread as fast as someone who's my who's hormonal like a teenager. Mm-hmm. It doesn't spread as fast as mm. us, mm. not as us, as teenagers. Yeah, it doesn't spread as fast. And 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 being someone who's living with uh, the condition, mm-hmm. what how would you what, what would you tell Kenyans? Because you know, I, like you said, that was insensitive, and a lot of us were insensitive, maybe yeah. because of that ignorance. Uh-huh. Um, how would you how what would be the ideal situation? Just say hi. Yeah. Say hi or smile. Yeah. But don't stare. Just don't and, stare. And asking? Ask. Yeah. Ask. Ask. Hey, what's up? I yeah. tell you it's vitiligo. Yeah. But don't throw words. You know people throw words. Yeah. You hear someone saying, hey, she was burnt with acid. Yeah. She stole someone's husband. Yeah. Um, monkey. Jesus. Or... <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. And how, yeah. do you, how do you handle this? Uh, let's just say I'm a very... It took me eight years to accept I'm living with Vitiligo. Yeah. So right now, no matter what you tell me, it mm-hmm. doesn't really matter to mm. me. I really don't take it personally. But there are days when, you know, we all have those days yeah. when someone says something and really gets to you. Yeah. So I pray a lot. Mm-hmm. And um, yeah. And really. until now, do people still stay, say stuff? Do they still stare? They stare, and yeah. they stare. But uh, nowadays, you stare, I stare at you. Mm. Let's keep staring. Whoever, <laughs> whoever stops first. <laughs> ah, <laughs> yeah, you stare, I stare. I hell, <laughs> man. But you know, it's um. I think even with the uh, the model. Um, Winnie Hallow. Yeah, Winnie Hallow. Yeah. I mean, I think she's really opened up the world to know that this is this is a beautiful um, condition. Condition, yeah. and uh, you know, it seemed to and you know, you and I'm sure she also still has people who are you know still telling her crazy stuff and all that. Yeah. Let's talk about World Vitiligo Day. Yes. What are we planning? Because clearly, there's a lot of work to do. Um. The plans for this year for World Vitiligo Day will be at Dr. Krap. Mm-hmm. It's a primary school on Jogorod. Yeah. Uh, they will be distributing clothes to children who often. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, distribution of clothes and just playing a little bit of football. Mm-hmm. And that will be it. And you're good at football? Yes, I'm very good at football. Of course, you'd say you're good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a striker. I'm good. Allah, Allah. <laughs> what is your average scoring rate in a game? <laughs> I'm not I'm not even scored. One. Jesus! <laughs> I think, okay, so and you're saying you're good and you haven't scored a goal? Uh, I'm a striker. I'm very good. 
Ala. Acha tuongee mambo ya vitiligo. So kutakuwa na football inachezwa hapo Dr. Craft. Yeah, yeah. And is the public uh, allowed, you know, if maybe there's someone who's listening to to us right now and they're like, you know what? I think my child, I think I think I have it. Mm-hmm. Is there where is that where they can be able to reach out or where do they reach out? Um we have pages. Mm-hmm. You can go to Vitiligo is beautiful mm-hmm. on Facebook, IG. Mm-hmm. Twitter mm-hmm. or Royal Patches mm-hmm. on Facebook, IG, Twitter, mm-hmm. you'll find them. Royal straight. Patches, I like yes. that. You'll find them yeah. and you can be able to communicate and we'll reach out to you. Mm. But uh, tomorrow, you, because of COVID-19 and MOH regulations, mm-hmm. we're trying to really limit the crowd. The numbers, yeah. Yes, we don't want also to cause any. Yeah. Yes, yeah. So we're really trying to. All right. Um, you know. It's and for someone who's uh, you know maybe not doesn't have a community because you you are part of a community yes. and you're really supporting a lot of those people mm-hmm. um what would you tell someone who feels isolated right now they're dealing with a condition they're still in that space where they haven't accepted mm-hmm. and so they're they're really struggling maybe they're hiding it and whatnot what words of encouragement do you have for them which lego is beautiful you, can, you shouldn't hide it because what did i want to say what did oh. you want to say <laughs> I, want to say, oh, I wanted to say <laughs> yeah you might hide it. You might hide it, but mm. not for so long because mm. it really spreads fast. Yeah. Unless you're using medication, mm. and I'd love to tell them just to accept. It's not easy. Mm. box. It's not easy. It took me eight years to accept. I, I can imagine this condition. So I can imagine. I can imagine someone who's isolated right now. They can reach out to us. Mm-hmm. I can't give out my number. Um, on the handle, they can reach us on Facebook, especially Facebook. Yeah. That's where we we are very active mm. on both pages, mm-hmm. so they can reach us. Reach out to us. We we'll, oh. we'll reach. Uh, we'll reach out. Kizungu inakata. Una ni kill si wonge tu kinyeri basi. Kizungu inakata. Inakata. Anyway, yeah. they can reach out, we'll reach out mm. and um we'll talk to them. Mm. We mentor, mm. we encourage mm. and um we tell them Vitiligo is beautiful. Yeah. And at the end of the day it may be it's really tough mm. come box living with Vitiligo it takes courage. Yeah. I've um I've just I'm um, just from telling someone it takes courage to live with Vitiligo because mm. you know you have to go through a lot of staring a lot of um, discrimination. Mm-hmm. Also, we have people who've been looking for jobs. You know, yeah. finding a job is not as easy as it sounds. You mean it's people judge people? Oh my God! Why? Why they think that they niki niki they get? Like a friend of mine, yeah. my co co ambassador. She's yeah. called Julie. Yeah. She went to look for a job, and um, when while she started working, mm-hmm. the boss just came and told her, "Hey, you have to leave. Customers are complaining that you're gonna you're gonna scare them. No, yeah. affect them." You're gonna infect them with Jesus. Vitiligo. <laughs> no way. Yeah. And so sh- this is her boss telling her you gotta go. Yeah. So she had to leave. And now there are people who've looked for jobs for years and years. Yeah. And years. And what I'd like to tell employers, you know, as, uh, people are really qualified. They even have masters. Yeah. But they're out there just because they have vitiligo. It's it affects your skin. It doesn't affect it's your your s- your, your skills. Yeah. It doesn't affect your skills. As for employers, they should just accept fully with illegal and employ them as long as someone is qualified. This breaks my heart, man. It also, for me to go, oh, I didn't tell you, I was working at a bank before I went to become a nominated MCA, uh-huh. but I left because no one would come to my counter. Then I was dotted. My yeah. face was dotted, yeah. so I left the bank. Yeah. The banking. You used to work at uh, Echo Bank. No, 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 I won't say the bank. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh-huh. I wow. used to work at a bank, but I left yeah. and um, because no one would come to my counter, so I went to TNA then, uh-huh. and I told them, hey, you may want to be a youth representative. Yeah. So they told me, what can you do? I was like, uh, I'm going to take photos. Yeah. So I was sent to Mount Kenya region. Mm-hmm. And I used to take photos for the president when he comes around, when yeah. he's going around. Mm-hmm. That's how I became a nominated MC because I'd also looked for a job before after I left the bank, mm-hmm. and I couldn't find one. So it was easy for me to enter politics, and I love politics. Yeah. And um, yeah, I'm generally, I love talking. So I'm a politician. I just love politics. I, I think because it's a career that has accepted, it accepted me for who I am yeah. without any discrimination. So you ca- so in the village, it's bad. Because if this is oh, how it's happening village, in the city. In the village, it's bad. It's hey. bad because like when I went to see the 94 year old, uh-huh. by the time I reached, they had already been told, kuna mwingine anakuja na kama yeye, na ni kama kona HIV, whatever really. Now there are two of them. So everyone had cap gathered at her house. So I know. And how do you, I, I, you know, June? I mean, uh, um, <laughs> <laughs> how, how, how do you, how do you will yourself in the morning and just say, you know what? I'm. They're gonna stare. They're gonna say things. They're gonna. Exactly that. That pep talk. You give yourself a pep talk every morning. And you're like, yeah, they're gonna stare, but yeah, it's worth it. Wow. 
like I say, I'm beautiful. I know beauty label is beautiful. So yeah. I give myself that pep talk. I'm beautiful and beauty label is beautiful. Yeah. No matter if you stare. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. Oh my God. Thank you so much for coming here and sharing with us, opening our eyes, educating us. Yeah. Um, and, and, and being and great company. Uh -huh. You wanted to say something. Uh -huh. Are we coming back? Yeah, no, we we're finishing. <laughs> 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 what did you want to say? Uh, people should not. Um, you see, like, um, my friend, mm -hmm. uh, for me, my relationships haven't been as bad as... Yeah. But my first boyfriend left me because of it. Actually, oh, he, man. He upped and left. You know, I wanted to ask, but... <laughs> but yeah, how, how is it dating? The first one left. Yeah. Um, Even to date, no, he can't handle it. No, he said, I don't know what's happening to you. Yeah. 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 Like, I don't know what's happening to your face. So yeah. You can't do this. Just, just like that? Yeah, just like that. And I was young. He must have broken you. I was broken. I was in hospital, my friend. Wow. I was just 20. Yeah. Eh. <laughs> eh. Uh, currently, um, I, I, I'm just from another breakup, but... Uh -huh. Right now, I'm not dating again. Yeah, I want Why? to. I want to focus on changing the society. Yeah, as I love myself. So you're saying people still also even in relationships are kunaili Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you'll find people with vitiligo will tell you mm. they've gone through experiences that are numbing to yeah. say the least. Yeah, because I've heard of stories where even husbands leave. <sighs> You've been with your husband for twenty years, and then he leaves because yeah, it started he, showing up. He says I. Who does it affect more, men or women? Women. Mm. The men who've been affected, yeah. it really, eh, we really, we talk to them. Mm. We are really, we really encourage them. Why? Because it's hard on men. It's hard. You know, as a woman, we are very strong. Yeah. We are very strong. Yeah. We are Compared strong willed. Men. Yeah. Even if something happens, we'll wake up each day and just leave the house. Yeah. For men, you'll find they hide themselves. In the house. So it's really hard for men. Oh, it's wow. It's really, really tough. And hearing this, guys, as MVPs, let us be our brother's keepers. Mini kiona, ukiona mtu apo inje, akona skin patches, white patches on their skin. Be, uh, umwangalia tu kama vinyu unajangalia. Kwa sabu, iyo disease ina muaffect to skin. Hai affect akili yake, hai affect roho yake, hai affect macho. Okay, ina affect macho kidogo, <laughs> lakini, hai, it doesn't make them very different from you. It's just the skin. And it's not contagious. And it's not contagious. Yes. You, hey. Thank you so much. Anytime. Babylon must have forget blast away. Like Modern Vibes, where you are the MVP.